Welcome everyone to another segment of Gospel Music with Friends Online and our guest today is Bev Tripp and uh, we're going to hear some exciting things from Bev today about her ministries. And Bev, can you tell me um, what drew you to Gospel Music? Well, um, I was uh, saved in my early 30s and I had always been a lover of music as a, as a child growing up. Um, learned to sort of hack away on the guitar, <laughs> uh, more like a campfire guitarist. And then when I became a Christian, I just um, really fell in love with the Lord and I just wanted to uh, sing my songs to Him oh, and for Him. That's beautiful. I've heard you sing, so I know it's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. And has there been anybody that um, that you can tell our audience about uh, that who's inspired you uh, through your through your walk through your ministry at all? Well, there have been probably too many people to really name or or number. Uh, my uh, my years uh, ha as a Christian have been uh, they're up to a, a thirty plus now. <laughs> uh, there have been many many authors and writers. Um, in terms of, of Christian musicians, wow, I, I love pretty much every genre of Christian music, um, country, uh, you know, gospel, uh, hymns, sacred music. Um, I, I really just enjoy it all. That's beautiful, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Are there any other pathways that you um, have had or careers that you've had throughout your life that you'd like to tell us about? Oh, well, yeah, there's, there's been a few of those. <laughs> so, um, when I got saved, I, uh, shortly thereafter, I was in my early 30s and I went to the mission field. And so that was uh, something that, um, and Keith Green, actually, um, his book, No Compromise, yes. that was a, a hugely significant uh, chapter of my life when I, when I read that book and uh, Keith Green said in that book, if, if God doesn't say no, then you should go. And I just really felt that was for me. So onto the mission field I went. And um, after being out there for uh, some years, and not too many, about two and a half, three years, um, the Lord called me home. And he told me to go to school. And so I went to Regent College and um, studied to become uh, a pastor and I got to my MDiv. Um, then I ended up uh, through a series of various uh, uh, small jobs um, becoming a chaplain. Wow. And so the, the music ministry in chaplaincy was uh, very valuable and I came in handy <laughs> a lot of the time because I was able to use the music to, uh, to reach folks and connect with folks. And still today. And still today, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's wonderful. That's what a what a pathway you've had. Mm. And I just wondered, in all that you do, and uh, I maybe our listeners will be wondering too. Do you ever have any nervousness or anxieties? <laughs> I mean, you're as normal as the rest of us, right? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely, um, very much so, uh, especially with the musical end of things. I think um, because worship is very personal uh, and uh, there's, it's so easy to compare, especially with all of the wonderful artists, Christian artists that are, that are recording these days, it's, um, it's easy to compare oneself with, uh, with someone else. And uh, the value, I think, has to come back to just recognizing what God has gifted and given each of us individually and to be satisfied and content with with that. Oh, that's a good word. That's a really good word. And I know that you have, um, you're a writer of song, not just a singer and mm -hmm. a musician, mm -hmm. you're a writer. And I just wonder if you could um, just bless us with one of your songs now. Oh, well, I'd be happy to. I, I, have, I have a CD that um, I wrote uh, that the songs were written over many years yes. and I was able to uh, get it recorded. That would have been close to a decade now, but more recently, within the last couple of years, I've written another song that um, really just uh, expresses 
what this world needs, the leg of the world is Jesus, is what it's called. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Let's listen. All right. Well. <laughs> you could say that we maybe would um, spur someone on who's maybe listening and thinking could I could I work that way for for God uh, a budding musician could you a songwriter could you suggest something that they might mm-hmm. well I I know when when the Lord uh, has given me songs it's usually just been a, a direct download um, I get the words and the melody all together But that only happens when I'm uh, in a place of real communion with Him. You know, so um, I believe that, you know, our worship ministry has to come out of a very, a very solid connection with the Lord. Um, He wants to speak to us and and certainly the joy uh, that one feels when um, the Lord speaks to you in song is uh, something that is precious, absolutely precious. I used to carry around with me a little tape recorder. (laughs) Goes to show you how many years I've been at this. But but, uh, whenever I got a song idea or I felt the Lord was speaking a a melody or a verse to me, and very often it would be scripture in verse, I would record that. And then, you know, maybe later on I would start pondering it and then the Lord would uh, release the rest of the song. So that's um, something that people can do instead of just ignoring those little melodies that come. Um, just press into them and see how much more God will give you. That's good. That's good food for thought, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have a, just one more question, I guess, and that's um, 
Is there any song which you've written or which you've heard that really stands out as something that would be um, your song? Or uh, uh, today, I know every day it's different, yeah, right? right. Yeah. But uh, it, could you suggest yeah. anyone? Like any kind of a life song or something? Yes. I, I, don't, um, I don't know that there's, ever, that, that there's an actual life song, but certainly there are seasons for, for songs. Uh, sometimes uh, if a person is going through a very deep, uh, deep waters, um, you know the old hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Uh, you know, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever uh, my um, lot thou has caused me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. That one draws near to my heart mm -hmm. as well, Bev. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. sure. But those types of songs uh, will, I think, uh, guard a person and keep them um, as they go through difficult times. And then there are times of joy, yes. where a joyful song will be um, just a simple one, like the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. Um, you know, that might be for a season too. For sure. So, yeah. Would you mind uh, us closing with you playing another song for us, singing oh. another song for us? Well, sure, oh. I'd be happy to. That's wonderful, Beth. Th Thank you. This is a song that I wrote um, uh, very soon into my Christian walk. And the Lord gave me this song, and I have lived really for the past three decades believing that this is a prophetic song. It's a song about how God wants to send his love to others through us. This love will break chains. It will tear down walls. It will set captives free. And uh, so as you listen to this song, um, think about how you might be able to express God's love to someone else today and maybe help to set them free. Amen. Thank you so much and everyone who's been watching tonight 
or whenever you get to see this recording, just want you to know again where uh, we've been blessed by Bev Tripp. She lives here with her husband Tom in Wilmot, Nova Scotia, and it's just been uh, just a blessing for me to get to know Bev and her husband and um, her ministry, their ministry. Um, and uh, we thank you, Bev. Thank God you. God bless you. It's been fun. Thank you.